Ugh, there's mud everywhere. Mud, mud, and more mud. I am so sick of the mud. We got stuck, we did get stuck, can we get out, can't we get out? It makes you look like this. Hmm. Hi, I'm Kathy. And this is Steve. In 2019, we started planning our retirement and realized that we both wanted to travel and see the U.S. in an RV. So we started our adventure with Fate Fortune Fun. We packed up our fun mover and started planning weekend adventures and vacations to learn more about the RV lifestyle. Please subscribe and click the notification button so you can follow us as we continue this journey to retirement and beyond. Oh, good morning. If you've been following the saga of our driveway parking area for the RV, for the RV you can you'll know remember we've all, all almost gotten stuck twice now we have gotten stuckish stuckish <laughs> <laughs> so you can see right here this is where our gate is it's a big gate so we can pull through and you can see where the tires usually go there's a puddle there's a puddle it did rain yesterday it rained, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. So you can see after more than 24 hours of no rain, how much water is still left under the gate there. It's all. Yes, you know, Steve's scary. walking through it. So well, obviously. I know better than to walk over there. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, if uh, we were trying to pull in or out, we wouldn't be able to right now, which is kind of sucky. We tried. Wanting to. We've been having problems with uh, 2020 has been a very wet year. We've been here for 14 years, never had this problem. Oh, and it stinks real bad over here too. Oh, what is in the mud? Mud? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> and we tried putting some different anyway, various we, things we, down that we would pull the tires on top of to help a little bit with the its, RV was sinking. Yeah, with the sinking in the mud, but hmm. So, and then we use that black trailer back there as a storage shed slash garage. So we're showing you this now because hopefully the next time, one of the next times you see this, it will not look like this anymore. Pave all of that with concrete. Yeah, that, so that's the great surprise is all of this and through the gate and all the way up there to the end of the black trailer is all going to get concrete uh, 16 feet wide 15 F 15 feet wide and some number long I don't remember the number um, 200 feet 200 feet so what we're going to do now is we're going to go run through the house I'm going to cut you off for a minute run through the house and out the front door and you're going to see the other side of the fence the dogs are in the backyard so we don't feel like opening the fence and dealing with that plus who wants to walk through the mud to open the fence but you can see that we did get the rv in the backyard the last time we went out but it's now parked in the middle of the yard this is so we're, i'm going to stand in the street right now so this is the view from our street steve's walking around typically we pull in from you know it's pulling let's see we usually go around the block and come up this way and then pull in through the backyard there and the front in front of the gate isn't horrible we do have a couple low spots so it's not as bad you can see um the grass has already been marked for our cable which is very exciting goes over to the box comes across here cables there and then we've got all of our other hookups are on the outside of the house here so we're waiting for the rest of the utility companies to show up to get our gas to get our gas mark to get our phone line is cable so we're good there and then uh, electricity we have a general idea where the electricity is, but it needs to officially be marked because it actually went around the house. So it, it comes 
underneath the fence right there, I think, and then goes into the box. So that's going to be more of a problem in the backyard. And I don't know where our gas meter goes, but you can see the front yard here. Steve's can step out of my way here. You see how the puddle is. Anything you'd like to add? I've tried trenching to get it to drain some that's helped. Otherwise, there'd be inches of water sitting up in here. Mm -hmm. everyone it's day three of us working outside and it's cold today it's supposed to be warm and sunny and it's neither as you can see behind me Steve's been working hard on getting all those pickets I painted up and getting this gate nice and secure for the dogs we're waiting on a gravel order it should be here anytime in the next three hours and then I'm going to start painting some more pickets if it gets warm enough and I can be outside. Johnny! And <laughs> Steve's over there having a good time, joking around. <laughs> but that's what's going on today. So we haven't recorded in a couple days. Oh, by the way, hello everyone. You can't see me, I'm behind the camera. We haven't recorded in a couple days because we've been working hard. So the concrete pad got poured, obviously. Um, and we replaced all the pickets on this fence. This is actually a double gated fence, so it opens wide enough we can pull in and out. So we painted it. It only has one coat of paint. We're going to do one coat of paint on the inside, two on the outside at this point. The other thing that we've been doing is along the edge of the driveway here, um, we have a drain tube under there, and then we've covered it up with gravel to help with all the water that we've had issues that we've had or the drainage issues we had so this should solve the problem so we've gotten these bags of gravel you can see here we've gone through two and a quarter bags so far um, and so Steve's been working really hard on getting that gravel all filled in um, and then all the dirt that's back here is the dirt that was left behind that they used to help level out and get the grading right for under the concrete pad so about right here I can't see it on the camera about right there um, that's where the slope from the driveway to the ground is going to end and then all that gravel is going to be used to flatten it out and we're going to put something down there because we're going to park one of the trailers back there temporarily um, so we're still working on that um, and then of course um, over here we've, is where some of the dirt's going to be because you can see here how much higher the driveway is from where the ground was just to get it at the right slope and to get the water to work away. So some of that dirt will fill in here. We're starting to work on it now. Um, this black trailer here is eventually going to go away as is the white trailer. The motor, the this other white trailer is a motorcycle trailer, and that one's going to be the last trailer that we sell if we sell it. We're still going back and forth, um, but where I'm standing now and looking towards the fence, or let me actually turn around. I wonder what he did. Oh, there it is. See this rock here? Um, we're getting a garage put in, so from where this rock is in my shadow, back in the whole width is going to be a garage that all the things that we store in that black trailer will go into, as well as the lawnmower and all that other yard stuff. Our shed that we have on the other side of our RV is um, been here for 15 years, so we're, it's obvious. And then, of course, from about where this pole is forward will be for RV parking 
and you can't see it yet and I'm very excited about this between these blue buckets you see a pipe sticking up out of the concrete he ran a piece of pipe all the way under the driveway over to where our electric electric comes into the house and that's where we're going to put power on the side of the garage so we'll have 50 amp on our garage and over there next to the lattice is our hose and that's also where our sewer dump is so we'll have a full fully function functional a fully functional ooh, that was hard to say rv pad here our air conditioner still needs to be put back obviously we need to do a lot of cleanup it's still a work in place and you can see we had to move everything into the yard to make room for this so that a lot of that's going to get rearranged we're hoping that most of it happens this weekend um we ordered the garage uh, building and they told us 12 weeks and it's been three and we got a call yesterday saying they want to put it in on thursday we couldn't be happier, but it's making us rush a bit. Well, it has been a while since we have been recording. We are down to that last 10% of the work and you know how long the last 10% takes. So here we are, we're walking up the new driveway. Um, Steve is going to magically open the gates in a moment so you can see how lovely it looks when the gates are open. So that gate swings open. We've opened the one gate and you can see we're opening the second gate and this is how we pull the RV in. It's so wonderful to come home from a trip. You pull the RV in. You go all the way up to where it needs to stop. You can see over here to my right um, that this is where we keep our tow dolly. And then the garage is in the back. And it's just fabulous. I have really, I'm going to walk out of the way of the noise of the air conditioner. Steve's walking with me so you can um, hear him talk. Um, I have thoroughly enjoyed having this driveway in here what's your opinion oh absolutely no more mud no more mud no more are we level you know one of the things that we have discovered is that we are part-time we go out for weekends we go out for for vacations and we come back in and we're, we're staying it out as long as we can but then we have to get in and turn around and get the RV emptied and ready for work the next day and we so, honestly just pull in, pull the pilot off. We got enough room where the tow dolly can then be rolled over. Mm-hmm. Without that. And then close the gate and we're done. Yep. One of the things that we have discovered is that you need to make your part-time life easy and you need to make your full-time life easy. So our full-time life isn't happening yet, but our part-time life is and we have to go back to work on Monday morning most of the time. And anything that we can do to make getting this in and out easier is better. Long as the grass grows. Yeah, the grass isn't doing too <laughs> bad. I mean, you, one of the earlier clips you'll see where we hadn't even moved all the dirt over here. So you can see our grass is starting to grow. Um, we got gutters up on the garage. It's mostly full. We haven't done a dump run yet, but we did get rid of the ugly shed. I'm not gonna show you the remnants, but so we've got gutters up on the shed. We've still got some more gravel to put in, so we still have a half a bag of gravel. Um, and so we're just we're plugging along. Yep, get it done. Get it done, we're gonna look good, but we're happy this is gonna wrap up this video. Wanted to show you the mostly finished product. Like I said, 10% left. Who knows how long it'll take us to finish that last 10%. We'll get that done. And uh, one thing that we didn't mention was we're putting a RV receptacle on the front of the garage. Mm -hmm. That way we can pull in, plug in, 50 amp. Right. Oh, it's going to be so nice when we're getting ready to go on a trip. We can air condition it and get the fridge going and everything will be plugged in and ready to go we unplug and pull out i might start working from in there <laughs> <laughs> well anyway thank you for watching we hope you enjoy our driveway views as much as we enjoy using it please remember to subscribe Oops, and hit that up. notification button thanks <laughs>